So in this video, we are going to explain the term shelling effect or screening effect and effective nuclear charge. These terms are very important. Shelling effect and screening effect both means the same thing and another term that is effective nuclear charge. To explain this, these terms, we are taking a very simplified version of model of an atom and uh, in this model, this is the nucleus and it has charge, nuclear charge represented by Z and that is equal to atomic number that is number of protons. So the, the uh, charge present on the nucleus is positive and this is the valence electron. Now the force of attraction acting between these two charges that is nuclear charge and valence electron will be attractive in nature. The force acting between the valence electron and nuclear charge will be attractive in nature. It will act inward towards the nucleus and it may be calculated using Coulomb's law that is force is equal to K Q1 Q2 R square Q1. Let Q1 be the charge on the nucleus and Q2 is the charge on the electron, so it can be calculated using this equation, Coulomb's law. But we have to look at this core electrons also. There are inner shells and the electrons present in the inner shells are known as core electrons. Now these core electrons will also exert some force on this valence electron and since they are having like charges, so they will repel each other this electron will repel this valence electron so all core electrons will repel this valence electron and the force of direction or direction of this force will be outward away from the nucleus so attractive force was acting towards nucleus and repulsive force due to this core electrons will act outward away from the nucleus so this attractive force is greater of course it is always greater since the number of proton is greater and this force which is acting towards nucleus will be reduced to some extent due to this repulsive forces offered by the inner electrons or core electrons or electrons present in the inner shells. So the force acting on this electron is not equal exactly equal to this force which we have calculated. Why? Because a part of this had been cancelled out by this repulsive forces. This repulsive forces their direction is opposite to this and they can be added vectorially. Force is a vector quantity so the, this force is reduced due to this repulsive forces offered by these electrons and this force will be reduced to some extent and now there is a convention that instead of studying this repulsive forces what we do we adjust these repulsive forces or repulsive forces offered by this electron in this nuclear charge itself what we do it is a convention that instead of using two terms attractive force and repulsive force again and again it will be more convenient that for per for the purpose of calculating the force acting on this electron valence electron we can take this nuclear charge a little less than what it is and why this because we have to adjust for these repulsive forces to adjust for these repulsive forces what we do we take this z to be a little less than what it is so that this by calculating the force we get reduced force exactly and this nuclear charge is reduced by that amount and it is rep represented this way f sorry so this nuclear charge is taken to be Z effective and this Z is reduced by some constant for every atom depending upon the number of core electrons present in the atom and 
this adjusted effective or nuclear charge is take, known as effective or z effective or effective nuclear charge now we know the force experienced by the valence electron is less than what with it would have experienced if there were no core electrons so core electrons we can say in other words we can say that this core electrons are shielding this valence electron from this nuclear charge that is why it is reduced so these core electrons are shielding or screening this valence electron from the attraction of this nuclear charge and this effect is known as shielding effect or screening effect another and valence electrons may be present in s orbital p orbital d orbital or f orbital and of course core electrons are also we know the three dimensional uh, shape of atom so electrons are present in orbitals so s electron inner s electron will shield the valence electron to a greater extent and p electron a little less than s and d electron and f electron will list shield the valence electron the least so this is the order of so the order of shielding effect is s electron inner s electron inner s electrons electrons present in s orbital of the inner shells will shield this valence electron to a greater extent than the p electron uh, p electrons of these shells than d electrons of the cells and f electrons or f orbitals will shield this valence electron to a least extent so their shielding effect is very poor and this s is very strong it has got very strong shielding effect so strong shielding effect and d and f f is the least and s is the strongest it has got the strongest shielding effect so these terms shielding effect screening effect and effective nuclear charge are very useful and these are used to explain the new trends in periodic table like change in size across a period or increase in anisentalpy across a period decrease in anisentalpy going down the group increase in size going down the group so these terms are used to explain the terms or trends in periodic table and one more term is very important that is penetrating power now this shielding effect is offered by this core electrons on valence electrons right now this valence electron may be present in s orbital valence s orbital or valence p orbital or valence d orbital now they are they are shielded to different extent by this inner electrons so this inner electrons will shield in this order and what about this if they are s electron they are shielded the least because they have greater penetrating power there they have s electrons as greater penetrating power so they are shielded the least so order of penetrating power is is this so if the valence electron is in s orbital it is shielded the least so it will be for this electron s or s electron of the valence shell effective nuclear charge is greater for p electron it is a little less for d it is very less and for f it is the least so this is the order of penetrating power means s orbitals experience 
s orbitals or s electron experience more attraction from the nucleus than p and p electrons experience more attraction though difference is it may be very less and this is the order of shielding effect experienced by the valence electron and this was the order shielding effect offered by core electrons so in the next video we'll discuss the penetrating power in greater detail and the use of shielding effect and effective nuclear charge on periodic trends and of course we'll study lanthanide contraction in the next video so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you